Hi guys, today we're going to be making a delicious pot of calabaza with red beans. We're going to be using some sazon. We're going to be using some chicken bouillon. We're also going to be using some salsa tomate, tomato sauce, and it doesn't have to be goya guys. Get whatever is on sale. We're going to be using one head of roughly chopped garlic. That is just a little blend of cumin and black pepper. I don't have sofrito, so this is some cilantro. And I chopped up some um, peppers in place of the sofrito. So if you don't have sofrito, just chop up some um, peppers. It doesn't matter what color um, they are, some garlic and the cilantro. And I think even if I had sofrito, I would have used some of these beautiful peppers to throw in there. To that, we're going to be adding some olive oil. If you have cooking oil, that's fine. I'm trying to eat a little healthier, so I've been using olive oil. Then we're going to add the red kidney beans. They don't have to be goya, and if you don't like the um, red kidney beans, you can use any beans that you like except black beans i'm not sure about that um and this is the star of the show the calabaza pumpkin which we are going to chop up so i've been having my pan warming up a medium heat and to that i'm going to add my olive oil i'm going to add the garlic I don't want the garlic to um, cook all the way, meaning brown. I just want it to warm up um, along with the olive oil. I actually want the garlic to cook with the peppers and the onions. All right, so after a minute or so, we're going to start adding in our cilantro. And we're going to add our peppers and onions to that. Once that's all added, we're going to give it a stir. Mix everything very well. And this is a very easy recipe. Um, it's great for beginners and it's also a good recipe to prep um, for the week. So you can make this on a Sunday and you can freeze it. That way during the week you get home from work. All you have to do is make a pot of rice um, on the side or whatever you choose to have with it and just warm up your beans. So after a few minutes, um, you see that it's come um, they kind of look like this. We're going to add our sazon and we're also going to be adding um, the chicken bouillon at this point. We're going to give that a stir. And your kitchen should be smelling amazing at this point. And that was the um, cumin and the black pepper. And all the ingredients and measurements will be listed under this um, description. And to that I added my half a can of um, salsa tomate of tomato sauce. And we're giving that a good stir. So after about five minutes, we're going to be adding the red beans and we're going to give that a good stir so that we can combine um, our vegetables with our beans. So after stirring everything together, it will look like this. And at this point, we're going to start adding our water slowly to it. 
while your stove is on a high because we're going to want this to come to a boil. Okay, so after allowing um, everything to come up to a boil, it should take you about 15, I'm sorry, not 15, after 10 minutes, um, we're going to start adding our pumpkin. And what I'm doing here, I'm showing you that I cut them all into different sizes, okay? I left some small so that um, those can cook faster and kind of break up inside of the the beans the sauce of the beans um and that way you can make the sauce a little thicker so i left some bigger chunks that way those you can enjoy and the smaller ones are just kind to kind of um in there so they could deteriorate a little bit and think it thicken up our sauce sorry about that So now we're just giving it a good stir. Now I'm going to add some pink salt. Um, as I mentioned, I use, um, I've been trying to eat healthy, so I've been using olive oil and cooking with pink salt. So here we are, after about um, 15 minutes, it has come to a boil. I'm adding my pink salt, as you see. And we're going to allow this to keep cooking. We're actually going to cover this up and we're going to cook it on medium um, heat, okay? With the lid on. And I'm going to show you how I place my lid. And yes, at this time, you might want to taste it and see if it needs any extra um, seasoning because it's just for you, so you cook it to your liking. So you see, it's come to um, up to a boil, so now I want to cover it, but I leave it open that much so it can kind of vent. I've learned throughout the years by that by doing this, my beans um, will be a little thicker. So here we are, guys. Yep, it is a looking delicious. So at this point, we're ready to serve. Doesn't this look good? And it was absolutely delicious. And I'm not saying that because I made it. It was really, really good. This is actually my daughter's favorite. My oldest daughter, um, Tatiana, she loves beans and calabaza with white rice and aguacate it's actually it's her favorite she doesn't even care if i make chuletas or or chicken on the side as long as she has the um the beans the calabaza the white rice and aguacate so i hope you like this recipe look it looks uh, delicious it was delicious and i made it with some um boneless um pork chop that i um grilled and i cut into pieces well slices with some honey 